Well, here's the video I never really wanted to make. So the other week when I was getting the windows tinted on the way over, I heard a loud crash, not a crash, a crack, a crackle. Basically, I heard a rock hitting me. And at the time, I didn't see anything, didn't see any cracks, no chips. I thought I was good to go. But then the other day, I was pulling up on gas, looking at the windshield, and there it was, right there. Big old chip, so brand new, well, brand new, it's a year old now, 1,800 miles, and I got a chip, and it has a little crack. In fact, let's go inside, and there it is from the inside, so as you can see, it's on the passenger side, right there. Hopefully that focus is in there. Now it is pretty clean, pretty shiny, and we want to get that fixed. We want to take care of, anytime you have a chip or a crack, especially a crack, you want to get it taken care of, the sooner the better couple reasons. One, these can develop into bigger cracks over time. Now I'm taking this racing, so that's going to create a lot of chassis flex and that's going to make it more easier to crack from this chip. And I don't want that to happen. So I want to take care of it before I go racing. Also, you want to take care of it as soon as possible because in these cracks, it's opened up and over time, dust and dirt will get in there. So the longer you wait, the worse the repair is going to be. Like, you can still repair it, but it'll not be as clear It'll be more evident. In fact, I had my old truck. I did a chip repair, and I waited so long. There was so much dirt. It was kind of yellowish. If I have a picture, I'll throw that up. I don't know if I have a picture of that or not. Now, normally, if you have this, if you have insurance, just get it done through your insurance. Normally, they cover it for free because insurance companies, last thing they want to do is replace the entire windshield. So they'll normally pay to get chips repaired for free. So it'll be out of pocket. You go to Safe Light, anything like that. Usually, it's pretty simple. You always see those signs on the side of the road like, we fix chip windshield trip repair for free. Take care of that because, like I said, insurance company does not want to replace this whole windshield. They'd rather just pay to fix the chip. But what kind of video would that make? So I decided to get my own little repair kit and show you how to fix on your own in case you don't have insurance, you don't have comprehensive coverage, liability only, whatever reason, or you just want to do it yourself. There's a couple different kinds of kits. One is a Rain-X kit. has like four suction cups. I used that one, didn't really like it much, so I got this other one, and it's called a Permatex Windshield Repair Kit. This is more similar to the one I repaired in my truck a long time ago, and it says it has everything you need inside, cures by sunlight. So let's go ahead and open up. This is 0, 09103, so I'll link to this down below if you want to try it out, if you have a chip to fix. Let's open it up. And here's the stuff, instructions. So we got our little plunger that's going to squeeze the adhesive in here. This is kind of an interesting one how it works, but we'll see. This is the resin that goes in there. Attach suction cup, attach the windshield, razor blade. Little alcohol prep pad. This is, we'll get to that later. Little push pin. All right, let's set this aside. Take a look at the instructions really quick. Okay, so just going off the pictures, the push pin, what that's for is to get into the little chips and get any loose pieces of glass out because you don't want anything loose in there. Then alcohol pad, clean it up, apply this little sticky circle piece of tape, pull it off, put the suction cup thing on, drop some resin in, attach the syringe thingy, move it to a certain indent, create a vacuum, squeeze it in. And then once you're done with that, pull it out, then put some on that clear piece, stick it on the glass, fill in the outside part, let it cure scrape with a razor blade. That's the picture way. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go through the step by step. So the very first part again, clean the little, any loose pieces with the push pin and then use the alcohol pad to clean it up. So you just want to get in, you can see there's a couple little flakes that came out. Okay, I think that's good. A little microfiber, wipe that off. Now we use our alcohol pad. Okay, now with that area clean, we want to go ahead and put this disc on here. It's adhesive on both sides, so we peel one side off first, stick it, make the chip part of the crack. Now there's a couple spots here, but really the spider one is this top one here, so that's what I'm going to focus on first. The other one shouldn't cover with the little plastic thing. Uh, it's got a little center thing, pop that out. Now I'm peeling the white side first because this side comes off easier. This side comes off a little harder. Now you want to make sure the tab goes up, and that is what it says, so let's go ahead. Try to get that centered right about there. 
And then you want to stick the sun really good. You don't want any air bubbles underneath. Okay, now with this on, it says go inside. Just make sure there's no air bubbles. Hopefully you can see that. I see an air bubble here and here. So let me press on those uh, spots. I think it was right about there. Now I kind of worked them out, but they're still right here and right there. Kind of use a microfiber cloth so that I don't get fingerprints or any oils in that clean spot. Much better. Okay, there were a couple really tiny air bubbles, but that's about as good as I'm going to get it. So I think we're all right. Okay, now what we want to do is peel this adhesive back off. And I kind of pre, I found it easier to kind of start that before we stick it on because that's on there pretty tight. Okay, now we want to put this on and line up the tab with the top. Okay, and then just get that stick on. And I think the purpose of this tab is just to make sure that this goes up because obviously you know the curvature of the windshield. So with the tab up, this part where the resin goes in will be straight up and down. So gravity will help it the most this way. Okay, so now it's time to put some resin in. It says, good idea, keep a towel here just in case anything runs down. Make sure the syringe, the plunger, is all the way in. And then here is, we just removed this cap and cut a little tip off. Ah, resin's getting on my hands already. I feel like you don't have to open it up. It's already got a hole in it. It says, do not get it on paint. So now, stick it in here. Oh, don't squeeze as fast as I did because I just squeezed a bunch of it out. Okay, I feel like that's filled up. Now it says to recap it, but that's not a cap. There is no cap for this thing. So we're just gonna set this aside. Okay, now with this little and the lowest thing, push this in and make sure it's tight. Push it in. Okay, now we wanna pull this plunger up to the lowest indent and that's gonna kind of create a vacuum inside of there. It says do this with one hand, but I don't know how. It seems easier with two hands. Yeah, that clip needs to be there because you can feel it's pulling down. That vacuum is, it, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's quite a vacuum going on in there. Okay, so now at this point it says, let it sit for 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to do when going to the house. But meanwhile, actually before I do that, let's go inside. Let's take a look. Oh, you can kind of see resin in there. Hopefully it's filling that gap in. It looks kind of weird right now. So, all right, let's let it sit. All right, well, it's been 10 minutes. So now the next step. We need to pull the plunger out, leaving it as is, let air get in there and put it back in and then squeeze some air out. So let's go ahead, pop this up. Heard that suction release. Now, without doing anything, just put it right back in. And now we would just want to squeeze it down to the second indent here. So let's push it down right there. You can tell there was Plenty of force because when I just released it, it was trying to push back up. So that should have now squeezed the resin into the little cracks, hopefully. Now, according to instructions, once you do that, you let this sit now for 20 minutes. So we'll be right back. And it has been 20 minutes now. So next step now, everything's in here. So we just have to pull this out, yank all this off, and do a couple things. So let's go ahead. Syringe is off. The Nexus says using the razor blade. Or you probably don't have to use the razor blade. Um, probably just makes things a little bit easier. But we just need to pull this whole thing off, both the plastic piece and the sticky part we put on it first. Oh, that came off first. Ooh, a bunch of resin in there. So it's not cured, but that's the next step. So if it hasn't been obvious, this is a one-time use kit. I'm gonna get a glove really quick. Okay, I got some of that resin on me earlier and it's kind of like super glue in a way. It kind of makes my finger feel weird. So I suggest using a glove. Now it's not completely gone, but it's filled in. So now it says wipe the extra off. And also I wanna pull this adhesive off. 
Okay, last step. This is a curing strip, just a clear plastic sheet. Then you want to take this, and you should have a little bit left over. So just put a bead over the center, which I'm going to also put it on top of these other chips. And that kind of covers that up. And I just honestly, this didn't have a cap, so I just used the push pin as a cap. And then just stick this right on. And if for any reason there's air bubbles in here, use a razor blade or whatever just to get any air bubbles out. There is not. And that's it. So now at this point, it has to cure. Now this cures by sunlight or, wow, <laughs> clean my windshield. So we need to pull the car outside. As you can see, my ram is out there in the way. So let's go ahead, move the ram, pull this out. All right, truck's out. Now for a treat. Haven't done this in a while. We get a nice cold start. Cold as you can consider it being 90 degrees outside, but this car is not started in like two weeks. All right, let's listen to this. <laughs> Mm, music to my ears. Let's back this up and perfect. As you can see, right now, time of day, the sun is perfect. It is shining right on the windshield. And oh man, is my car dirty. I'm washing it tonight because I'm going to the races tomorrow. Let's see what this chip looks like. Oh man, well, I mean, it looks better. You could still definitely see the star in it though. So we shall see. Now, just so you all know, uh, I I'm willing to risk any issues with me doing this repair or honestly, I don't mind as much if it does end up cracking. I, I do mind. I don't want it to crack. It's the last thing I do. But if it does and I need a windshield replaced, guess who makes a lightweight windshield? Optic Armor. It may be time to look into that, but that's worst case. Let's hope that this does the job. So now that we're in the sun, let's go ahead, turn the car off because it's loud with it on because I have no interior. And now it says you want to let it cure for 15 minutes with direct sunlight. If you don't have any direct sunlight or say it's a cloudy day, it says just leave it out for an hour. Because uh, even on cloudy days, UV rays do make their way through the clouds. That's why in case you didn't know, you can get sunburnt on a cloudy day. So let's go ahead, leave that, and we will come back once the curing time is All done. All right, so it's been about actually much longer than 20 minutes. Sitting in the sun, I figured why not give it some time. So now let's just go ahead and pull this off. And there it is. Okay, I'll be honest, I think I made it worse. It looks a little better, looks a little covered in, but there's a new crack right here stemming from this star down to here. That one there before, so that I made worse. So now let's just go ahead. Take off the excess resin, make it flat. Yeah, so it's still there. But at least I got resin in there, so that should help it from cracking more. If not, like I said, be time for an Optic Armor lightweight windshield. Let's take a look inside. So there it is again on the outside. And here it is from the inside. I mean, it looks better but you're not gonna get perfect doing it on your own. This is why if you have insurance, if you have comprehensive, just go to Safe Light, have somebody do it professionally. I'm no, I'm not a professional. I didn't have to do it this way, but like I said, good opportunity to make a video, try something different, see how that works, and we'll see how it holds up. I think too, the problem here is if it was just the one crack, it wouldn't have been bad, but it, it was multiple spots all in the same area, so. But I do have another chip on my RAM and I have a different kit, I'm gonna try that other kit on a RAM, and I'll do another video. So hope this maybe helped, or at least helped you determine to go ahead and use your comprehensive coverage. Again, they usually cover it for free. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.